y'all. Welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, ain't nothing really cooking today, except we're just having a lot of fun. Today's episode is sponsored by my friends at Smith & Noble. They're beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are all custom made. So visit smithandnoble.com and let them create a space for you that I know you'll just love. As y'all can see, Bobby's here with me today. And who else? And Coco, Aww. Coco Chanel, Aww. my grand dog, Aww. one of my grand dogs. And uh, Bobby has been really, really busy, y'all, yeah. with a project that I'm so excited that he's doing. You want to tell everybody? Sure, Or you yeah. might not tell them with the enthusiasm and excitement that I'll tell them, so well, I'll tell them. Okay. Y'all, Bobby's got a part in a movie. His mother is over the moon, excited for him. It's an independent movie, an hour and a half. It's a G movie, and it's kind of like a time warp thing. Okay, now I'll give you the opportunity to talk. <laughs> I think that was pretty much summed it up. It's just a, it's a, it's a neat opportunity. I got a call from, uh, from a friend who told me that there was a, a movie being filmed in town and asked me if mm -hmm. I was interested in reading for a part and I said sure so I came down and here to feel my good Phil's friend studio. my good friend Phil um, mic'd me and filmed uh -huh. me reading some uh -huh. lines for uh -huh. a part and I didn't really expect to get it and they called me back really quickly and said we would like for you to be in the movie so I'm in the movie <laughs> and, and it's I have pretty to, cool I have to tell y'all when when Bobby was telling me everything uh, he said mama I, I have to tell you it was really, really weird talking to a coat rack. <laughs> oh, here, yeah. I was yeah. talking to probably that flag stand right there. Yeah, because... Right. Lori, um, I have to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so read us one of your lines. Just read us one of your lines. I just um, love it. I get so excited. See. Now, act your part. Do your acting. Oh, let's see. Um, it's the Constitution. I don't get it. I couldn't sleep, so I got up and read the darn thing. Really? Really? What is it? What am I missing here? I, I don't know. Yes, you do. Oh, I do? Yes, you do. Well, see, I don't know the other person's lines. Yes, so. you do. You have to make them up. <laughs> oh, I have to make them it's up. It's a fully improvised movie. No, it's not. All on the fly. No, it's not. 100%. No, it is not. Absolutely it is. No, because you told me you have to memorize all your lines. Make it up as I go. That's why they hired me. See, I knew you were smart. <laughs> no, there are lines, and it's fun. <laughs> and it's, the movie The movie is, um, like you said, it's an independent film, and it's G-rated, which makes me really happy because my nephew, Jack, you can't see him, but he's here he's right now. He's sitting in the producer's chair, y'all. He's here right Can now. Can we flip around and get, get our <laughs> producer? <laughs> <laughs> our number one producer. <laughs> my grandson is also smart. And he's like his daddy and his uncle. He can do anything. When they when they asked me about being in the movie, I was happy to hear that it was G-rated and what the subject matter was because I want my nephews, nephews. and if Cloudy and I ever have kids down the road, that you know, I'd like for them to be able to see yes, it and be proud of yes, it. So, yes. um, it's just a really fun opportunity. Do you know what I mean? Oh, listen. You've I, been I, in a movie. I was in Elizabethtown. Talk about it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, to have an opportunity to work with... Uh, Me? Cameron Crowe. Me? No, Cam you weren't in Elizabethtown. No, but I'm here now. But to have the opportunity to work for Cameron Crowe and uh, watch his excitement and the passion that he had for shooting Elizabethtown, it was an experience I will never forget, y'all. Mm -hmm. I... I just wouldn't have taken anything for that. Mm. And watching professional actors okay. do their thing, because they just told me to play me. Right. But to watch them do it, like Susan Sarandon mm. and, um, oh, what was the good-looking young man's name? Orlando was, Bloom. Orlando Bloom mm -hmm. and Kirsten Dunst. Mm -hmm. You know, watching these people mm -hmm. um, act was amazing. Yeah, well... Um, in my movie, I'm the biggest star in the movie. So. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so. You ain't saying, you just saying. Which isn't saying anything about me or anybody else in the movie. <laughs> 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 I'm working with people that, are, are, that are 
really talented and nice and fun and they're like me they're just so excited to be a part of mm -hmm. it these people are uh, these people though these people are just they're 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 very good actors but you might not recognize them okay. from big movies like the man that's playing a, mm -hmm. uh, 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 another major character in the movie uh -huh. is uh, is a really um, experienced stage actor. So uh -huh. he's done uh -huh. a lot of uh, plays and Plays he's and done Shakespeare and stuff and he's, oh a, my gosh. he's a professional musician uh, wow. who has played um, on stage with the Almond Brothers and just oh he's, a, he's an older man than me. He's a, he's a really accomplished uh -huh. guy. And, and what part does he play in the movie? Um, he plays a fella named Ben. And that's all I can say oh. about that. And then, because I can't say anything, I don't want to give away the movie. And then the girl who was playing my wife, her name is Karen, and she's an experienced actress as well. But okay. these these people. So are these just, are people that really hadn't. They're they're, they're actors. And they're, they're they're people who have not become jaded about it. Let's put yes. it that way. They're yes. experienced in the things that they want to be experienced in, uh -huh. and they're passionate about what they do. And there are two young people in the movie as well that are really good uh -huh. um, uh -huh. actors and they're you know really young teenage people that's just I it's can't, just I it's can't just wait fun. so it's, listen now I want you to seriously um, just just one one of your one of your lines one of your speaking parts just give it to me and I'll just try to react to it but I just love seeing you I act. just did. I just did it for Oh, no, you. well, but you was waiting on me to answer, so do you just pretend like I'm answering? Um, so, do you need to stand up to do this? No, I don't. Or are you sitting down? I was sitting down yesterday. Okay, okay, good. I okay. was. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's begin. Here's the scene. We're in a coffee shop, okay? Uh-huh. And I'm sitting here reading my newspaper. I'm eating a donut. Nope, you're not. Oh. No, you're not. <laughs> you're uh, you're joining me at the table, okay? Okay. And I'm not okay. expecting you, so I'm okay. sitting here reading my newspaper. Uh-huh. Where did you come from? There. Look, Ben. I had a really strange day yesterday. Maybe you can explain a few things for me. Okay. Anything I'd like? Anything you like. Okay. Well, first there was the dream. Then I met you. And then the headline. And then, were you at the bookstore opening yesterday? Yes, as a matter of fact, I was. I was a nervous wreck. Why? Why were you nervous? It's the Constitution. I couldn't sleep. So I got up and read the darn thing. Hmm. And then, this is gonna seem really strange, but ever since the dream, I had this weird feeling that I'm in danger. I don't well, know. Well, you better not be. I don't know why. <laughs> you stepped on my line. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why. Or from what? But I had the shakes all morning. Excuse me. <laughs> what? That's really a scene that we did yesterday. And you were almost perfect. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you say excuse me for? Because I had to go get my coffee. The barista had just called me and oh. said your coffee's ready. Oh. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? I'm tired from all okay. that acting. Okay, let's take a break. All right, here's a word from our sponsors. <laughs> the space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. 
Well, Bobby, I can't hardly wait. So, um, your movie will go to f festivals, right? Well, we'll be at uh, the Academy Awards ceremony in Hollywood next uh, February, and where I fully expect to be accepting. Um, actually, you know what's so funny? I said yesterday. <laughs> I, I think joke, he's lying. I joke. Oh, I'm totally lying. <laughs> I joke. I joke. Every time that I'm shooting a show, uh -huh. I always say, you know, something about me getting an Emmy, and uh, it's just a, it's a running joke I've always uh -huh. done. And yes, yesterday I was talking to the the uh, the first AD, the first uh -huh. assistant director uh -huh. on set yesterday, and she was in the middle of doing something, and I and I said, uh, I said, you know, I'm gonna get an Academy Award, <laughs> <laughs> and this woman looked at me. She goes, for this. <laughs> I said, Angelique, I'm kidding. <laughs> she thought you were serious? Yeah. But so, yes. well, I am a good actor, aren't I? <laughs> All right, it's good to be with you, Mama. Oh, son, I appreciate Bye, you everybody. popping in. Mm. And we love y'all and send your best dishes, although... All we dished today was kind of goofy stuff, but that's all right. We had a good time together, I hope. <laughs>